Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams, remember the name. Uh what the heck, Ross? I don't know about you guys, but to me, that does not look open right now. Come on, man. As you guys can clearly see right there, according to Dr. Google, Ross is supposed to be open until 11 p.m. Riddle me this. When did 1046 become 11 o'clock? Post it up outside Ross, dress for less, getting ready to go, get my treasure hunt adventure on, and this is what I was greeted by. Closed locked doors. Well, since my boy Ross let me down, I obviously had to take the next logical step, which is head to Burlington for like five minutes. Well, let's go. And here we go. We made it just in time before they close. Haven't been to this Burlington in a while. And we have arrived at the men's shoe section. Fingers crossed. Let's go. Well, we're definitely not off to our best start ever, but even for $29.99, yeah, that's gonna be a no-go. A few minutes later. And that, my friends, is what I like to call snatching victory, or in this case, a W out of the jaws of defeat. Man, it feels good. The next morning. It's a beautiful Thursday morning, and we are back at Ross. My boy Ross thought he could keep me away for a day by switching up the hours on me. But now it's about 9.30 a.m. and I'm like 99.5% sure that Ross is open. So, take two, let's go. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. It's off to Ross we go. Bum, up, bum, bum, bum. Look, no gates on the door, and that's a good sign. I don't see any lights, and there's gates over here. Hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. WTF Ross. What are the hours now? Kind of hard to read because I don't know if you guys noticed, but they're like halfway cut off. But let's see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. There we go. 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. What the heck, man? I swear it used to be 9 a.m. A few inches later. Well, since Ross gave me a cold shoulder once again, it's off to your boy Marshall. And here we go. We have arrived at the Marshall's men's shoe section. Starting off in the clearance section. I think we got women's right here. And first things first. I noticed these guys, not the prettiest color in the world. That's a little piss yellow to uh, warm up your back, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm not 100% positive, but I think that these Adidas ZX8000s are actually worth a nice little chunk of change. You mean hugely profitable? And once again, despite the uh, slightly foggy color, to each their own. This one has a sweet little strawberry jelly stain on it or something like that. Most important thing is the price. So, $31. Compare it 50. Moving on to what's supposed to be the men's shoe clearance section. But these are looking a little bit on the tiny side. So, I'm guessing this is kids. Except for these guys, which are another pair of Adidas. The Edge Lux 4, which apparently are running shoes. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Don't know too much about these ones. But, honestly, not hating the look. These guys are definitely a lot, lot, lot better color than those ZX8000s over there. But my spidey senses are tingling. My spider senses are starting to tingle. And they're telling me that the ZX8000s are probably the better find as far as resale goes. You're wrong. And these guys, $49.99 compare at 80, which I think the compare at was uh, higher than the ZX8000s. So we'll check them out. 10 seconds later. Moving on. Moving down the aisle a little bit, and we have arrived at the men's shoe clearance aisle. Yeah! 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 Or should I say maybe like half aisle? Not even? Quarter aisle? Quarter aisle? 
Something like that. Anywho, right off the bat, I see some Trey Youngs. Unfortunately, they're looking a little bit on the big side. I actually picked up a pair of these new in box at this exact Marshalls a couple weeks ago. And when they're on clearance like these guys, unfortunately, they don't come with the box, but they do come with this nice little reduced clearance tag of 36 doll hairs, size 13 and a half. Definitely not the ideal size for flipping or reselling, but for that price, uh, I don't know, man. Hmm, choices, choices. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave them right there until I can do all the research, do my due diligence, and figure out if size 13 and a half, like those guys, actually resell for anything. Moving on, almost at the end of the aisle, and uh-oh, what do we have here? A pair of Adidas ZX 5K Boost W, which I'm assuming stands for women, so I think they might be in the wrong section, but that's not gonna stop me from checking them out. I definitely like these ZXs a lot more than the uh, peak colored, what were they, 8,000 or 8Ks over there? These ones, at least in my opinion, are a much better looking shoe and definitely a better colorway as well. Size eight, $36, let's check them out. I already checked out the regular men's athletic shoe aisles and unfortunately there's not much to see but I did happen to see these guys when I was walking by and I was like LA trainer man that's like a blast from the past and then I saw they were Adidas so I checked them out and honestly not a bad looking shoe and for $49.99 once again, compare at $80, I swear that seems like, at least today, the compare price seems to be 80 bucks for every shoe. Anywho, so I was curious enough to check out what sizes they have, and here we go. 13, 12, 13, 13, 13, ooh, 10, 13, 12. You guys starting to see a pattern here, or is it just me? Anyways, let's continue. And last but not least, surprise size is 11. But we got another surprise. Different pair of shoes. These are the ZX 1K Boosts. Let's check them out. Bum, bum, bum. Bum. Whoa. Not sure if the Boost makes it worth anymore, but size 11, pretty solid size. And what do you know? Who would have thunk? Another pair of Adidas, or just another pair of kicks in general at this Marshalls for $49.99. Compare at $80. Like I just got done saying, I swear, every pair of shoes at this Marshalls, or at least the Adidas, are $49.99 with a comparable value of $80. Hmm. We finally made it to the last aisle, and unfortunately, we didn't find any super good finds today, but I did at least find a couple maybes to do some research on and possibly come back and snag in the future. And last but not least, because it is Ross 30. So before we go ahead and head out to Ross, I did find one more potential good find on my way out, which is Donovan Mitchell, issue number threes. But unfortunately, they are size ginormous. We got blue 18, 17, and another 17. These 17s are blue, and then these 17s are, hey, it's up a little bit. White, where's the other one? I guess uh, turn into a ghost, or maybe you only get one. And it's a special edition one with quite a bit of yellowing on the bottom. Huh. Pretty odd because I looked around and I definitely did not see another one of these guys anywhere. Dunzos with Marshalls. And now, finally, and I do mean finally, what is this? Try number three in the past, I don't know, less than 24 hours? You gonna let me in, Ross? Please, man, please. After all this waiting, you better, fingers crossed, have some good treasure for me. Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need. You fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed. Those knots, they